Prompt Engineering Training Session 1. This video is a guide to prompt engineering for working with large language models, covering the elements of a prompt, use cases, tips, techniques, hacks, and iterating tips. A prompt can have five elements, input or context, instructions, questions, examples, and desired output format. At least one instruction or question should be present in a good prompt. Prompts can be mixed and matched to create effective prompts. Tips for improving prompts in OpenAI models. Be clear and concise in instructions. Provide relevant information and examples. Align prompt instructions with desired output and use different personas for specific voices. The prompting techniques to control the output of the model and provides general hacks to improve its performance. Prompting techniques include using thought chains and avoiding hallucinations by providing relevant quotations. Hacks to improve the model's output include letting it say I don't know, giving it room to think, and breaking down complex tasks into subtasks. Prompt engineering is a new skill that is in high demand, with salaries reaching up to $350,000. A free course on prompt engineering has been published on YouTube to help people learn this skill and create job opportunities. AI, or artificial intelligence, is the field where computers are taught to think and understand like humans. NLP, or Natural Language Processing, is a subset of AI that focuses on training computers to understand human language. GPT, or Generative Pre-trained Transformer, is an NLP AI model that enables computers to understand and generate human language. The speaker provides instructions on how to effectively generate video titles using AI prompts. Be detailed in the prompt and specify the desired outcome before generating titles. Ask the AI questions to clarify the topic theme, and target audience. Give the AI role of an expert in title writing and provide all necessary details. The speaker emphasizes the benefits of using charging PT and NLP to explain concepts easily and engage learners, while also encouraging viewers to like and share the course. Charging PT and NLP can be used to simplify explanations and engage learners. The speaker encourages viewers to like and share the course to reach more people. Different styles, voices, and tones can be used to explain concepts, such as Shakespearean style for quantum computing. Temperature and top B are parameters that control the randomness and creativity of language generated by NLP models. Temperature adjusts the level of surprise in the model's response, with higher temperature leading to more unusual or imaginative words and phrases. Top B controls the level of randomness in text by selecting the top percentage of most probable words. Imprompt engineering and testing different prompt combinations can help improve prompting skills. This course teaches Python scripting and advanced ChargePT prompts to take skills to the next level. The course is divided into two parts, Python scripting and applying scripting with advanced prompts. Learning Python scripting helps understand and utilize ChargePT's generated code. Learning Python scripting opens up opportunities for development and problem solving. This section covers conditional statements and loops in Python. Conditional statements are used to execute specific code based on a condition being met or not. Loops are used to repeat a specific piece of code multiple times. Learning Python and building custom charge EPT versions is important because it allows for creating custom solutions to specific problems and utilizing APIs and data that may not be available through existing plugins. Python allows for creating custom models and applications for large-scale projects. Python provides the ability to import and use models from other developers, expanding functionality. Learning Python is valuable because it allows for building custom solutions and utilizing APIs and data that may not be available through existing plugins. The speaker discusses accessing live Bitcoin prices using a third-party API. The speaker mentions not having real-time access to market data. The speaker explains how to obtain live Bitcoin prices using the Coin Ranking API. The speaker highlights the availability of a free version of the Coin Ranking API with 10,000 monthly calls.